I didn't shoot him. And I didn't stab him. In Bull's case, his body was so badly decomposed that his cause of death is listed as undetermined by the medical examiner. With this caveat, toxicology shows a sedative and four times a lethal dose of benzotropine, a Parkinson's drug, is found in his liver. So poisoning can't be ruled out. Both cause an anticholinergic toxicity. We spoke with the director of the Virginia Poison Center about the effects of the two drugs in Bull's system. Wouldn't really be able to, you know, Defend yourself. The missing head of Clint Shavers and the length of time he was buried makes his cause of death difficult to prove as well. This body had been buried for 15 years. It was wrapped in a sheet. This sheet would be Ulysses' downfall. This sheet, in essence, it kept all of the evidence together? It did. For one thing, she wrapped the body tightly in this. She drew it up and tied it. While most of the skull was gone, four small facial bones were recovered from his shallow grave in the flower bed. Three of them representing different bones in the mid-face area, this, this area right here, and then also back on the side of the skull, right in front of the ear hole. They're sent to the Smithsonian Institute. The bones will talk to you if you listen to them. Where one of the nation's leading forensic anthropologists, Dr. Doug Owsley, will determine damage was done to them at or around the time of death. You could drop the body into the grave, but a dirt grave, the distance that we're talking about, that's not gonna cause all of this mid-face fracturing plus cranial vault fracturing. Dr. Owsley says he can't prove exactly how Clint Shavers died, but there are two very likely candidates. Very serious blunt force trauma, a blow, or you cannot rule out a gunshot wound. Armed with two highly suspicious deaths and a lot of circumstantial evidence, in August of 2010, Commonwealth Attorney Tom Garrett announces they're going ahead with murder and further embezzling charges against Ulysses Shavers. We're looking at a total of 22 new felony counts. Shavers decides to plead guilty to the embezzling, but not the murder. Appearing in a wheelchair due to a pair of strokes, she apologizes in the courtroom to Cody Bowles' children. But moments later, during an exclusive interview, she seems to blame them for her predicament. You said in court you wanted to apologize. What do you mean? I apologize to the kids. That they seem to have a wrong impression. What would you say to those kids if they were sitting in here right now? They know what the truth is. They know what's wrong with This from a woman who's told nothing but lies since day one. Can you tell us why your boyfriend was in that well? Mm, Armed with what they consider a very strong circumstantial murder case, prosecutors prepare to go to trial in December of 2010. Then, a week before trial. This was like pennies from heaven. A shocking new piece of evidence is uncovered. You then have that letter uh, in front of you that's a forged letter to Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. This document, which Ulysses signed, shows Cody's insurance was canceled before this picture was taken Christmas Day 2006. Remember, it was the last time he was seen alive. This makes a case for premeditation, planning for his death. Faced with this evidence, Shavers decides to accept a plea deal. How do you plead? Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Even Circuit Court Judge Timothy Sanders, who's seen and heard it all, seems appalled. This strikes the court as something that was entirely cold-blooded, deliberate, and for little reason whatsoever. Ulyssa is sentenced to 30 years behind bars. As part of her deal, she also pleads guilty in Amelia to murdering her husband, Clint. Any reason you can offer as to why sentence should not be pronounced at this time? No, sir. This has been a long process, but uh, it's coming to a close today. Um, I'm glad for that. Uh, I love my father. I can't bring him back, but this helps to, um, you know, kind of serve him justice. With the 15 years Shavers is already serving for embezzling and concealing Bull's body in the well, the 30 years for Cody's murder and the 43 she received in Amelia for killing Clint and later defiling his body by beheading, she won't be eligible for parole until she's 100 years old. Ultimate justice will be done uh, elsewhere but man's justice has been done on earth as best it could have possibly been done here today. Justice won't bring Cody Bowles back to his children, but this son says he'll see his dad again on the other side. We love him, you know, and, uh, you know, hopefully this isn't it. Hopefully we all see each other again, you know, sometime.